Sorry about that guys, the camera battery died, um, or the, the max recording limit was hit, but my camera battery is going to die. Good thing I charged all of my batteries too, so we have hours to record. So I'm going to put PS4 um, 2013. PS4 2013, yeah. Alright, so I set my thing to PS4 2013 for the date, showing that this is my original PlayStation 4 release. Automatic downloads and uploads, yes, of course, do that. Operate PS4 to voice, I don't have a camera, but okay. Enable HDMI device link, this is, I don't have a Sony TV, so it doesn't really matter, but I'll just leave it on because. Power save settings. Set time until PS4 turns off. Media playback. If I'm watching a movie or a show, if I'm not doing anything, turn off in two hours. If I'm playing a game and I'm not doing anything, turn off after three hours. Actually, make that four hours. Um, set functions available in standby mode. This is this is fine. Turn off DualShock 4 automatically after 30 minutes. This is what I have on PS3. Um, was my, my cat was back there. Language, obviously you want to change that, just kidding. Date and time, which are set, it's automatically, it's set by the internet, so it's as accurate as it, as it, as it is ever going to be, excuse me. Devices, Bluetooth devices, the DualShock 4, audio devices, um, I have my Bluetooth headset, but it's over at the PS, uh, or the Xbox house with my PS3. You know, so I'm not really going to care about this. Controllers. Oh, you can actually hear this. Hold on. That's actually coming from the controller. I want that max, by the way. Vibration, yes. External keyboard. I do not... Well, actually, I can connect an external keyboard, but I'm not going to do that. All right. Video playback settings. Output. Yes, we do want output at 1080p, 24 hertz. Display closed captions. New. All right, PlayStation Vita connection settings. Enable remote play, connect directly with PlayStation Vita. Here, I'm gonna do this right now. The PS, uh, the PS Vita isn't on. All right, so I'm, I'm booting my PS Vita. I actually just noticed that the, the Vita boot up screen is the same as the PS4. It's that same just PlayStation logo. If you turn the setting on, the a PS Vita can directly con connect to the PS4 using Wi-Fi. This setting is available only when you're connected using, all right. Well, add a device too. Right. All right, so my PS Vita is on. Um, I'm gonna go to, it says it wants me to go to PS4 link. Here it is. Be setting this up. It wants me to enter that code. Um, remote play, enter the code. Have new messages. Four seven twenty four six oh six. Register. It's pretty cool. It's it's registering right now with my uh, my PS. Ooh, it actually connected. I have remote play set, so let me see if I can control the UI from my PlayStation Vita. Whoa! Aha! Camera mouse has connected. Con has connected using remote play. Pretty sick, so I may be able to. I should be able to control the UI. Aha! I'm controlling, I'm controlling this with my Vita right now. With minimal lag. Actually, there, I, don't, I can't really tell if there's lag at all right now. Just to show you guys, that's how it looks on screen. Um, there we go. Yeah, that's how it looks on screen. I'm gonna replace this camera battery and I'll see you guys uh, for the next part. So it says I have 45 minutes on my actual memory card. At that point, I'm going to have to move my videos over to my computer. I'll probably be going to lunch then. Um, so, yeah, I'm controlling this with minimal lag at all. Like, it's it's practically instantaneous, just to show you guys. It's practically instantaneous. This is actually really, really good. Um, at the moment, though... Oh, wow, I'm actually... I want to use my PS4... Uh, here. Oh, wow. What is this?
I'm just getting used to this, guys. How do I disconnect remote play? If I go to settings, devices, if I disable remote play, how do I, how do I get out of this thing? Oh, so select on the Vita is share. Alright. Um, we're not gonna mess with that. Hold on. I'm just gonna. Can I touch? Alright, so this is. Okay. So now I'm back with the DualShock 4 and uh, the Vita's been disconnected. Alright, so we got that test out. We got it linked. I'm gonna turn the PS Vita off now. There really is no reason to have it on. Um, but that, that is good. Alright. Um, PlayStation app. This is connecting to my smartphone. I did download the app, so let me do that right now. Or, um, set it up right now. Just make sure... PlayStation, right now. Add a device. And there's our new code for the device. Um... Where's the link with... Oh, connect to PS4. Oh, PS4 systems found. Yeah, PS4 2013. Here it is. Oops. Alright, so... 07690081. Alright. And I'm connected to the, uh, through, through my app. I can check my messages on my phone right now. Um, does it show this, the, the, the uh, Chubbs guy I wanted to see. Does it show my PSN name or real name? PSN name. And I can just send him direct, a message directly right off here. This is pretty cool. Uh, notifications, obviously. So I can, like, go into the PlayStation Store... I can actually turn off my PS4 right now from my cell phone. So I can go into my, my, the PlayStation Store and it opens the store uh, on, on the internet browser. I can just start browsing around. Alright, so that's good. That's my Galaxy S3 connected to. Uh, screen, sound and screen, or video output settings, resolution. I do want 1080p. RGB range is full. This should uh, work. Hold on. Yep. RGB range is full. This is for maximum color and stuff. Obviously, we want the uh, this to be full as well. Change is only when you use an HDMI device that does not send. Yeah, this is full RGB. You want that for maximum color. Display area. Obviously, we're going to maximize this for my 24-inch 1080p monitor. Audio output settings, aha, so we want optical audio, it's going to switch over to my um, thing, and I want all of this because I, it supports all of that. Alright, so now it's on a surround sound, if I do Dolby DTS, so right now it's outputting in Dolby DTS right now for the main menu, pretty sick. Obviously we want system music, it's going to be boring without it. Network. We have our internet connection, everything's fine. If I view my connection status, I'll move this over here. If I view my connection status, there's my AP information. Alright. I'm just gonna set this correctly. My cat's going eat shit in the background. She, she's walk, running around and stuff. She's excited for the PS4 too. Um, system software update, we already have the latest version. System storage management, aha, we have Look at this. Captures. It actually captured something. It captured a screenshot. Options. Yeah, just delete that. I don't want that. Alright. Um, 39 gigabytes for app. Oh, that's for Kills on Shadowfall. It installed already. Aha. Okay. Wow, so it's supposed to ca uh, it's so, supposed to be like cache, sort of, the, the memory is supposed to be like um, cache content, so we'll see how that goes. 
That's good, it installed already. Actually, since it installed already, I'm going to eject it. You barely push the buttons. It's like they're not even buttons at all. I'm going to eject the case and I'm going to place my other games in there so we can just get it in without any wait time. Um, so I'll put Battlefield 4 in there and have that install too. This is a good idea while I'm doing this. All right, so Battlefield 4 should be in there. Um, parental controls, obviously, you know, I think the, all right, it's just zero. So obviously we, we want to allow every piece of content allowed on this. Sub account management, what is this? All this is for parental controls and stuff now. Login settings, log into PS4 automatically, yes. Enable face recognition, I don't have a PS4 camera. Um, passcode stuff. Notifications, display everything. PSN, sign out, account information, link with other services. What type of other services can you link it with? That's the question. Ah, oh, Facebook and Twitter, all right. So I'm gonna link it with Twitter right now. I link it with a. Uh, we'll publish this this story to Facebook. You guys can look at the PS4. Um, next, publish settings. Um, Twitter, here, here we go. I'll connect to Twitter and enter my account information. Industrial. I like the new keyboard, man. It's really fast. At. Yeah. Remember me, of course. Authorized app. And PlayStation 4 should be connected to, yep. Yeah, we've logged into Twitter from PSN, so it should be connected uh, now to PSN. If I go into here, yep, yeah, it's just connected. All right, it's probably gonna share the same stuff. Um, data handling and health and safety. Oh, this is just them collecting. Alright, so that should be it for the settings. We're gonna go into the PlayStation Store at the moment, actually. Hold on, I gotta... Yes, I sent that from my phone. Alright, so we're gonna go into the PlayStation uh, Store right now. It's, it's supposed to be integrated within the hardware. So similar to Xbox 360, how the, the Xbox Marketplace was integrated into the hardware, it's supposed to be fast, because PlayStation Store on PS3 lagged like hell. All right, sorry. I guess we're booting up for the first time, it's loading. It's cool, it's playing the whole menu and stuff in Dolby DTS. Is it doing anything? Here, I'll check up on some tweets and stuff before. Poor Tom, he wants to talk on Skype. Busy man, busy. Um, is it doing anything? Is it loading? Is it loading or something? Um, it's kind of taking a while. If I go press the PlayStation button. I guess it was loading, jeez. It's the first time booting it up, I guess. Maybe it has to load.
<sighs> I thought the whole thing this generation was you don't have to wait. You don't have to wait. It's instant. It's instant. Or whatever, I, I really don't. I, I don't mind, but seriously, I thought I wanted to go download some cool stuff. Um. 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 It's not, the console at least is not frozen, but... I want to check out the PlayStation Store. Well, I guess while it's doing that, what I'm going to do, actually, is let me look at the, the part in the camera. All right, so it's only like 10 minutes. So I guess while it's doing that, I can kind of clean up my mess here <laughs> with the box and stuff. Um, plastic, we can throw out the plastics and stuff. I have a new HDMI cable I'm not going to use. The headset, I'm going to leave in the plastic. I don't know if I'm ever going to use it. I never really chatted on PS3. I don't really chat on Xbox 360. And I'm not really a chatter. Um, but the box, I'm going to keep the plastic the PS4 was wrapped in. in here. All this plastic crap. You can, uh, I'll, I'll keep all the plastic in the box, fine. Why not? Um, oh, here's my PlayStation. Yeah, these are my offers, so I have to, uh, I keep this here so for my controller and crap. This is really, um, taking a while to load. Are you, are you, like, doing something? Can you at least have, like, a message pop up saying that we're rebuilding databases or something? Or maybe, perhaps, it's the PlayStation Network is up at the PlayStation Store they are doing maintenance on. That is a possibility. I also have some codes I need to redeem, which I thought I would redeem. Well, that's actually a good idea. I would redeem those on the PlayStation Store, but I can't right now. Um, yeah, so we have our games here. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, I'm not really going to worry about. But yeah, um... <laughs> Isn't this just great, guys? I, I have no idea what it's doing. It's not saying anything. Nothing's really popping up. I mean, it's, uh... It's a doozy! Move up. My Xbox controller over there. Oh, shit. I almost I almost dropped my Xbox controller. That would have been nice. Alright. <laughs> it's not it's not doing anything. Alright. So here's the plan guys. Um what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna leave this on, but I'm actually gonna move all the uh the videos and stuff from my memory card over to my computer so I can just record more. So, um, yeah, I'm going to split the part here, and I'll, we'll come back for another episode of The Lab. We'll, hopefully the PlayStation Store will be up. If not, we're going to play, uh, actually, if not, I'm going to go grab some lunch. Wait, network unavailable? Really? So I can sign into PSN, but the PlayStation Store is undergoing maintenance. Wait, whoa, this is something um, else. Hold on, let's go back. Notice, my picture, my profile picture, it isn't as a... Uh, you can actually make out the difference between my face and the background now, whereas if I went over to... Um, if I just... This uh, video output... If I said the RBG range was automatic, watch, it'll look, it wouldn't look as good. See, it's a lot more, uh, it's a lot more, uh, it matches sort of with, oops, <laughs> it sort of matches with the background, so it's a good thing I have that enabled.
people are calling me. All right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back for the next video. We'll finally be setting up and stuff.